Hey, you guys, it's Craig Bielek. Welcome to Farmer's Market in Ogden, Utah with Craig Bielek. Yes, I am Craig Bielek. Stop arguing with me. I am Craig Bielek, I promise you. And we are ready to hit Farmer's Market to see what's happening down here today. First place I landed is the face painting booth with... Chelsea Oldham. You know, I come to Farmer's Market a lot, but I don't often see anything this cool and creative. I gotta tell you, that's cute. My wife was really impressed. We were walking by and she's like, those are really cute. So tell me who you are and what is this? Yeah, my name is Annie Dunaway. I'm with Urban Prairie Agriculture. We are um, a company that's focused around public education on growing in whatever space you have available. So that's how these sacks got started. They're ideal for patio gardens. Are you serious? Sure. I've been waiting. I had to talk to you. I, I affectionately call you the antler lady. Uh -huh. There's probably a better term, but yeah. first off, you have to tell me who you are, what your business is, and then I got we got to talk about this because I don't understand. Okay. okay, so my name's Amanda Francis. I am um, in Perry. My huh? husband has shed hunted for like 30 years, and about 10 years ago, I started like uh, looking into more of like the nutritional value uh, for dogs and we have a dog that helps us find them her name's Aspen oh so these are all found by a dog um no not all of them we oh, take okay. her for like deer uh -huh. um, and so yeah so as I started as we got her going on the shed hunting I started researching all of the nutritional value for them and Chelsea how many faces do you paint in an average day down here average day yeah hmm, probably 50 50 yeah. are you kidding me no. and 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 what what's the most popular face paint thing it is rainbow butterfly rainbow butterfly, rainbow butterfly. that's it i'm getting rainbow butterfly i really am yeah and spider-man and spider-man can i have spider rainbow butterfly <laughs> <laughs> rainbow spider-man sure yeah yeah <laughs> Well, it's, this is good for you. You like coming down to Farmer's Market, right? Oh, it's wonderful. I'm also at Silly Market in Park City. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. So you just plant a plant in a sack and it grows? Just set it right down. I've I've got a custom mix of soil in there that's going to yeah. provide nutrients all season long. Literally, you don't have to have a green thumb. You just have to set it down. Okay, that's my, that was my question because, <laughs> like, I'm not a green thumb guy. No, like, I could so plant a plant. People. I could plant a plant with other plants and it would die. Right. You know what I'm talking about? But And so, like, yeah. putting something in a sack and expecting it to live is beyond my ability. But you're saying the average the average Craig could do this? Yeah, just as, as long as the average Craig can keep it watered. Okay, yeah, I think I can do that. I really do. Um, my dad's right here next to me. He sells, so we're always right here together. This is my dad. Oh, there's your dad over uh -huh. there. Oh, yep. look, he's selling some beans right yeah, now. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, he's got his garden, and so then I just started doing this, and I love it. Like, I've got an online store. It's ShedAntlerDogChews.com and I can ship all over the world. It's just fun, it's good. They don't splinter, they don't break apart like bone does. It doesn't stink like rawhide and blow okay. up in their stomach like rawhide. What's the strangest thing you've been asked to paint on somebody's face? Um, do, I mean, do you do custom things? Well, some of the uh, inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> People have asked you to paint inappropriate things on their yeah. face. Are you serious? Yeah, and I've had to paint like. Feral, is that you? I know you're out there. <laughs> I've been pa I've painted whole bodies, so it's like, yeah. You painted whole bodies, <laughs> yeah. really? Yeah, I've been I've done body painting before. Are you kidding? That would I mean take oh. a long time. Yeah. I mean, depending on the body. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I should say. Yeah. So that was fun. Yeah. Really? And I w might want to get into that a little bit more because that's a big. That's a big industry. Look at how, how cute they are. Yeah. Yes, I think they're very cute. They are pretty handy, too. It makes it easy to move if it's going to be in the way or if you have changing light conditions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do you, obviously, do you have a website where people I can do. learn more about this? I do. I'm on social media, Facebook and Instagram. Both are Urban Prairie Agriculture. And then it's urbanprairieag.com. Or, or, okay, got it, got it. And tell me about these. We got like little yeah. uh, vases, or are they vases? I'm never sure. <laughs> it depends on where you're from. <laughs> okay, I'm from Ogden. <laughs> I would say a vase in okay. Ogden. They typically last a year. And really? Yeah. Like uh, this is a year's worth of chewy for a dog? Yeah, yeah. As long okay. as you get the right size matched with your dog. So yeah, really. Well, yeah, you got to do that, right? Yep, yep. So like, um, so I'm uneducated on this. I didn't even know shed hunting was a term. Okay. So <laughs> I assume these are for little doggies, yep, yep. and then those guys over there yep. for like, like mutant dogs, yeah, like I, you know, I have, like radiation dog. Yeah, kind of I thing. have um, customers who have like mastiffs. These will last them a full year. Are you they'll, kidding? Yeah, they'll come back. I mean, it cleans their teeth so good. They're full of magnesium, calcium, glucosamine, lots of vitamins and minerals. Like, it's the best thing ever. I believe it. And I've yeah. seen, I've noticed you've been very busy today. And it's farmer's market, so there's a lot of dogs down here yep. in Ogden. Yep. And I saw you here last week. So mm -hmm. is this, is this? 
do, is it going well for you? Is yeah. this a good place to be? Yeah, I, I love meeting my customers. I have a lot of return customers every year. They come back. It's great. Yeah, it's and really, you get really to work good. with your daddy. I do. I He's do. Like right yep. there. Yeah, <laughs> the market is awesome about putting us next to each other, and we help each other out. Painting bodies is a yeah. big industry. Yes, yeah, so like skin wars. Like, what? Yeah, it's on Netflix and everything. It's, I, I am it's, learning so much here yeah. today. I cannot believe it. There's, there's there is no one. Convention way. in Florida and. It's a big deal. What do people want their bodies painted as? Um, they do like my, like Mystique from X Men. Like, oh, okay, I mean, that's it. even yeah. like in the movies and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I saw somebody do uh, Alice in Wonderland, like with the Joker. I mean, they just do everything. So these little babies are fresh cut flowers. I just cut them last night from my greenhouse They're and um, put them together in these cute little bunches. They are beautiful. So if you come to Farmer's Market and let's say that, you know, you're looking for something fun or maybe you got a little gift. You want to take something to your mom or something like that. Boom. This is it. Boom. This is the place. We've got you. Yeah, mom, I we bought you a sack have, of flowers. <laughs> we also have microgreens and wheat grasses that I grow hydroponically over here. Oh, we better talk about that. Yeah. 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 It's great. Okay, so if you don't have a dog, can you buy one anyway? Yes, I have a, an online store, ShedAntlerDogChews.com. Uh -huh. They uh -huh. can get online and I can ship it to them, or I'm always willing to meet people too. Could I so. chew on one of these? I mean, sure. go for it. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen it all. I've had people grab them and chew them and clean their teeth, and yeah, it's it's. No way! You, no, no way! Well, hang on, hang on now. I've Wait a minute. We're making it up. You're telling me that a human come up here and grabbed one of these yeah, and chewed it at the fall market. We were set up over there, and she grabbed one and was chewing on it. And I'm like, Are you gonna buy it or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you. Should, I think you should have one of those signs. You chew it, you buy it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that seems like a reasonable thing, yeah. if you ask me. And they paint wow. clothes on your body. They paint just. Um, Wait a minute! They paint clothes on your body. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is, they, now, okay. They, they I got a question. I got to end question the intelligence of people here because isn't it like way cheaper and easier to just buy clothes and put them on your body? <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. What I mean? Yeah, but no, it's it's way fun. It's just oh, wow. it's great. I'm into it. Okay, any body painters out there, I want to talk yeah, to you. The other thing is, is I want, I mean, so how much would you charge to paint my body? Paint Wait a minute, can I be arrested for asking that before we go any further? Hydroponically. Okay, yeah. now you got to explain that. I get the hydro because hydro, hydro means water, right? Sure, these babies, exactly. These babies are grown without soil. Without Just soil? Water. Without soil. Yep, you can see there's no soil there. There really isn't, is there? No, there's no soil. <laughs> okay, this is blowing my mind. First off, I can't grow anything. And then yeah. to think about growing it without soil, stop. Mm -hmm. I get this like, well, this is witchcraft. Right. That's what this is. This is witchcraft. Well, you've come to the witchiest place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is fascinating. Yeah, I'm getting out of your really way. Fun. It's a lot of work, but we do it as a family and it's amazing. Like my kids get out, we shed hunt together. It's awesome. I was going to ask you when it says it's a lot of work. So. So you go out and first off you got to find them. Yeah. A lot a, of times they're like in the bushes and stuff lot, like that. Yeah, and is that I mean There's a lot of food. Is that legal? Yeah. I mean it's legal in certain areas and there's uh -huh. there's there's certain states that have, you know, like um different times of the year that you can go okay and stuff but yeah. so then you got to get them and obviously you cut them mm -hmm. like to the right length or whatever yep. and then you gotta what do you clean them or something i don't or? i don't clean them at all i just cut them and i sand the edges so they're not sharp for the dogs and i try to cut you know lots of different sizes and shapes and you know for all yeah. different sizes yeah. my rate for birthday parties is either 85 or 100 an hour usually yeah. i can do parties in one hour yeah so and I don't charge a two-hour two hour minimum, so I'd probably just charge you 85 or or $100 an hour, depending on how extensive it is. Oh, if you had to paint my body, trust me, it'd be extensive. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to go through a serious but shaving, I, um, probably a sandblasting. The cool part about this is it allows you to grow it in any space you have. Okay. So if you have a spare bedroom, a coat closet, you are still able to take your own food into your own hands. That way you know what you're getting, you know where it's from, and it's easy on the environment. That is so cool. And are, are these, are those, those are sprouts, right? Like those I eat sprouts. on my sandwich. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so this is a spicy green mix that I have here. It's got like uh -huh. radish and arugula and all those fun things. This is a sugar snap pea shoots and some wheat grasses. Like look at that dog sure. right there. So would he be, he would be one so, of the, he'd be one of the maximum bones. Would, They're not bones. If he was, if he was not like an old dog, he could be 15 years old and have like one tooth. So if he had oh, one yeah. tooth, he'd want like the split one. The you know what one. I mean? But yeah. if he was like two or three, yeah, he, and he was a tough, tough chewer. Oh would, man, I'm learning. Want, yeah, it's fun. I'm learning so much. It's well, so, so good. 
Congratulations, you got like buckets of these things under here. You're expecting to sell. <laughs> I like to have a variety. Yeah. And look how interested the dogs are. They are. I mean, they're they can, all walking up here. They can smell it. Yeah. They, can, they can smell the marrow. Yeah. Is what it is. My business name is CLO Creations or Clo Creations. Uh -huh. um, if you Google face painting near me, you will find me and you can book me for your birthday party or special event. That's so cute because I've seen a couple of little, a couple of little kids, little girls walking. Oh, you've got one waiting right there. I'm getting in the way <laughs> of business. We gotta stop that. Hopefully, she's not gonna. There she is. That is. A, what, what do you think, rainbow butterfly? Are you? Yeah. Would you want to pick one? Which one do you like? A unicorn. A unicorn. It's over there. <laughs> on that sign. Let's do a unicorn. Okay. Well, guys, you got to get down to Farmer's Market here in Ogden, and you got to check this stuff out. Hydroponically grown sprouts, you know, plants in bags. I don't know what to say about this other than it's really cool. Hey, thank you. Hey, thanks for stopping by and learning a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I didn't learn. I can't learn. But and One last thing. If you have kids, kids can come and plant their own little plant to take home and grow. Oh, you can, they can do that right here. Right here. I have dogs that get underneath my tables and they're like digging them out all the time. So <laughs> yeah. like, they're shoplifting. Yeah. You have dogs that shoplift. Yeah. Like well, I look, said, one right at now. the Ogden there market. There is actually you, one doing it right you, now. You see everything here. <laughs> hey, buddy, don't make us call the doggy police on you, <laughs> you little doggy shoplifter. No, look, dad, daddy of doggy is looking at these things. He knows what's going on. Are you thinking about buying one for the little guy? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I heard they're good for dogs, actually. So. Yeah. She just explained all the reasons these are really good for your dogs. What's your dog's name? Teddy Roosevelt. That dog's name is Teddy Roosevelt? It is, yep. <laughs> yep. All of you guys out there that want your body painted, she'll do it. Yeah. We just heard that. We just heard that right here. Except for you. No, Terry, we won't paint your body. free, but only for, like, when you're here. Not. Oh, <laughs> not oh you'll do adult not, faces not for free? if your body is painted, but... Your face when you're here. All right. <laughs> this little girl is seriously going to punch me if I don't get out of the way and let you paint, let you paint her body. And I, I'm telling you, that little girl, she could take me. I'm not very manly. So we're going to let you go. Thank you for talking to us, and thanks for being at Farmer's Market. So why did you choose Farmer's Market? Why, is this a good spot for you? Well, it's a good spot, but really my whole goal is to get people educated about alternatives to growing um, in open fields, you know, uh -huh. with the traditional large crop, yeah. you know, farms. Yeah. Um, and the only way to do that is to connect with people. Yeah, I think that's great. And you got some people, look at, there's people waiting to connect with you right now. So I'm getting out of your way. Awesome. But thank, thank you very you much. And, and this has been more than an education, really. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Have a great day, guys. You thank you. <laughs> you know what, Teddy? I think you need one of these. Do, do Teddy. I mean, Teddy Roosevelt's done a lot for our country. He really he has. He did, yeah. yeah. I mean, we wouldn't have national parks if it wasn't for Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, thank you, Teddy. <laughs> yeah. oh, thank you. All right. It's Farmer's Market down here. And I don't care what you say. You're going to find interesting stuff down here in Ogden. Get over here to Farmer's Market and meet Teddy Roosevelt. I thought he was dead. Yeah, too. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so here we are with Sample Girl. Yeah. You have an actual name, Sample Girl? My name is Sam. Sam? Are you kidding? No, you it's made Sam. that up. You no, made no, that no. up. That's right on point. And your last name's Pull, right? You're Sam Pull. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, the competition for comedy now is tough. I know, it really right? is. Yeah. You and I should go into business here. What are you sampling? I have Rainier cherries, Bing cherries, and English ivy peas from Taggy's Farm up here in Brigham City. Okay, grown right there, huh? Mm -hmm. So I'm strolling down the, the, the street here at Farmer's Market, and I see this uh, sign that says, Ask about pups and pino. And so here I am, and this is liquid canvas, is that right? Canvas, yeah, right behind us. Yeah. We're just kind of hiding it a little bit. But pups and pino, come and paint your pet. It can be a horse, dog, lizard, we don't care. <laughs> come and paint it. It's $50 per person, um, and all proceeds go to our favorite dog rescue, which is Have a Heart. Cool. And uh, they save puppies from Missouri Mills, puppy mills, and it's pretty great. So it's all for a good cause. I should say, there's a couple reasons you always talk to a guy like you. You're standing out in front of it, you're tall, and you have blue toenails. I like blue toenails. <laughs> Otherwise, they were black and blue from when you hear a skiing. Well, is that right? Absolutely. You got it. You heard your feet? Yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing here? What's your name, first off? Michael. 
Michael. We're selling opportunity tickets to win the car. Right. All the money goes to benefit the Union Station. Right. The car right. was graciously donated to us by Allen and Janie Hall. Right. And what we're doing is trying to raise money for the renovation and preservation. Right. The Union Station, you know, Ogden's jam, basically. I mean, and the anchor for Ogden. Hell, the anchor for half of the West for most of the century. Absolutely. Yeah, down there. What are Rainier cherries? Um, they are yellow, yellow flesh cherries, a little bit more crisp, harder to grow than the Bing cherries, yeah. and about 4 to $5 a pound here at Taggy's. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, are they good? They're fabulous. Would you like to try one? Yeah, well, of course, well, of course. Well, well, there you go. Why do you think I came to see Sam I know, right? pull? Okay, I'm going to have one. Mmm. <laughs> How's your farmer's market? So far, so good. good. We've been talking to people, and it has been wonderful. Nice. How is farmer's market for you? That's what I need to know. Uh, it's fabulous. We do a ton of different farmers markets. This one's huge. It's like four blocks long, which oh, is yeah, wild. Oh yeah, yeah. You look down there, it's man. It is long wild. Ways. You have everything from uh, baking goods to farmers here to people that make honey and people that put wild. flowers in a bag. Yeah, I just awesome. saw that in a sack down yeah. there. So what's the Pinot part? Get a come drink. Obviously, it's the best part. Oh, it's That's like Pinot, job. Pinot Grigio, yeah. right? Yes, okay, yes. I got yeah, it. some more d'oeuvres. I got it. Wait a minute. You show up? You're no. like you're like 14 I'm years old. I'm 20, but <laughs> I someday I'm I'm counting down the days. It's less than a year. I'll tell you that. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna come back here next year, perfect. and we're gonna have a glass of Pinot Grigio with you. Yes, perfect. Oh, Thank so you. So how how popular is this? People coming and all that? Yeah. This is it. we actually did our first class about three weeks ago big hit. It was awesome. So now we're doing it again for September 28th. Super excited. We've already got the class half full. Yeah. So. All right, let's talk about this car. 306. It's on a Nautis Spitfire. Yeah. Kit car. That's beautiful. It is way cool. Way cool. Uh, it's patterned after a classic sports car, right? Yeah, a Triumph. Right. Spitfire, or it also resembles a Cobra. Oh, that's, that's a good point there, too. But this is a modern uh, just yeah, recently built, built custom built as a matter of fact, right? Just here right? West Haven. Yeah, and it's got modern technology, so yes. you, you don't have to crank it or anything. No, it's <laughs> something that's going to run and not give you the problem of a car that's been sitting for 40 years. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. You're, we're, you're, you're giving this car away. Absolutely. Not giving, so giving an opportunity to win it. Oh, okay. So, so right. You, you, you buy an opportunity ticket. You're buying an opportunity ticket. This is a great cherry, by the way. It's amazing, it isn't really it? Is. Yeah, here, I'll take it, that. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. No, you're not. I'm, I'm not I'm done with it. You, with you. Keep your hands off my cherry, man. This is mine. Um, do any, Does anybody ever turn you down when you offer them a sample? Uh, surprisingly, yes, but the moment that they try one, they come right in, which is awesome. Yeah. So, here we go. Yeah, they really should. Okay, so how can people find out more about this place? Uh, you can come and visit our farm about 15 minutes north in Brigham City. You can also go to any of the farmer's markets. We're usually there. We've got stands all over mm. Salt Lake City as well as Kaysville. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, pretty much anywhere you find fruit, you'll find taggies. All right. Which is good. It's really good, and we come up to Brigham. I mean, everybody here comes up to Brigham a couple times a year, and they buy stuff, mm -hmm. and it's, like, really, really nice and all that. And you guys have a good business, I would imagine. Yeah, it's good. We love it. Is this your pup? This is not my pup. This is the owner's dog. Okay. She has three dogs, and they're all painted, but, yeah, okay. they're way cool. She, this is her baby, this store. Well, and while we're here, we should probably talk about this, okay, because this is pretty interesting, too. Yeah. Can you explain this to me? Because what I think this is is wine ice cream. You would be correct, then, <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Why? How, how in the world did someone figure out a, a way to combine two of life's greatest things? I don't know, but they could be a hero. I think yeah. they should go down in the history books. Yeah. We are the only place in Utah that sells them. So. I know. I can't believe. I have never heard of this. I've never. I've never tried it. I. I don't even know. Uh, is it good? I mean, really? I haven't tried it. We actually have to ID people for it. Uh huh. Five percent alcohol content, but people love it. They like to make like root beer floats, but instead it's with the wine that it's paired with. They love it. It was a cost. One ticket's $10, uh -huh. three tickets is 20 wow. 10 tickets is $50, and 50 tickets for 100 bucks. Oh, my goodness. That's a, so somebody could walk away with this car for 10 bucks. I yeah. mean, it only takes one ticket to win it. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's all it takes. Yeah. How's ticket sales going so far? It's going all right. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And when's the drawing? November. 
November. Okay, look at this, you guys. And, of course, there's other things happening at Ogden Union Station right now. We've got a Bren Hill concert coming up here in a couple of days. A whole bunch of other stuff you can find on the Ogden Union Station Foundation website. And you got to get down here to Farmer's Market. Look at this car. Who, would, who doesn't want that? You'd be amazed how many people say they don't want to win it, and I say, honestly, you don't want to win it, and they can't keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was gonna say, guy comes up, nah, I don't want to win that. All family owned and operated. Lacey Taggy is right there. She's the daughter of Thane and Carrie Taggy here. And uh, guy trying to steal one. You didn't I even know, offer it. I this guy. Two for it. one. Two for one. <laughs> 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 you guys asked him, but oh, um, look, he got one for his friend. I know. That's what it was. That's friendship for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love it. <laughs> I, you guys probably couldn't hear that off camera, but she calls them reindeer cherries, sweeter than anything Santa Claus brings. Mm -hmm. They really are sweet. They're awesome. Why are they so hard to grow? Uh, the birds love them. The worms love them. Uh, the, wait a minute. <laughs> hang on. The worms love them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Now we talk about the now worms after, I, the wor eat the, I, know, after right. I eat I'm the sorry. sample. sorry. <laughs> I should have just started with worms. You would have loved that, right? <laughs> no, they really are good. Pinot Grigio, pups and pinots, wine ice cream, liquid canvas, paint your, your animal. Your She even said you could bring your lizard and paint it. You can. Probably don't bring your animal. It might be a mess. Oh, but that's right, right. A bring a picture of your animal. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, for all you alligators out, owners out there, forget it. Okay, they don't want it here. Tell me your name one more time. Kennedy. Kennedy is here at Liquid Canvas Farmer's Market. She's got interesting stuff. Please come down and see them at Liquid Canvas. This guy's painting right there. He's painting his pet. That's right, yep. Good deal. Yeah. Way Pretty to go, good buddy. stuff. Yes, thank you. You're welcome, Kennedy. Thank you. You guys want to win the car? You really? <laughs> Need All right, you just, proved, you just proved my point right there. Some people just don't want to win this car. Yeah, oh, and we believe that. It's like asking a thirsty man if they want water. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Okay, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I want to win this car. I've already bought tickets. So. Okay, well, I wish I'm you the in, best. I'm in. You drive it if you want it. Oh, are you kidding me? Would I drive it? want to win it and appreciate it. Would I drive it? I mean, look at this thing. Would I, would I drive that? Absolutely. I kind of would be afraid to drive it. But, Why? Well, because it's so cool, it, you know? And I, I have a feeling that it, me sitting in this car would look incongruous. You know, people would drive by and go, that's a cool car. That's not a cool guy. How does this happen? The car would fix that for you. <laughs> Temperature wise and whatnot, with all the rain and whatnot we've had in Utah, it's been hard yeah. to grow as well. So we're late as yeah. well as everybody else, but everything seems to be coming out now. So you it's, like doing this. I do. I love it. I grow as well. All my own stuff. And I can tell. I can tell. I can just tell that this is this is your your jam, so it's to speak. Our jam. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really is. I mean, a lot of a lot of young ladies your age are on Instagram or whatever, and you're out growing cherries. I don't even have one, you guys. I am the I don't know, oddest millennial you'll ever meet out here. So I think you're the coolest millennial I ever met. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly what this is. I mean, well, okay, now tell me what this is. Oh, she's so the she's I'm the bell tent owner. I rent these out for events. So these it's a bell tent, and they are used mostly for glamping. That's what they started as. But okay. I actually use them for glamping and for events. So we do weddings, we do dinner parties, birthday parties, showers, all the things. Really? Yeah, go check it out. Okay, I'm going to come in because i got to see this. Oh, wow. This is Oh, and it comes with a child. There's a, I didn't even know that. Really? Really? Is there an extra charge for the child or is that? No, it depends. It's extra. Yeah, it's just it's yeah. All right, get down here to Farmer's Market. Buy your opportunity tickets to win this car. You could win this car for 10 bucks. I'm not making this up. That could be your car for 10 Dollars, not your car. You're not old enough to drive. <laughs> my mom's car. Your mom's car. What would you think if your mom won this car? I don't know. <laughs> You're the free cherry lady. I mean, the free cherry lady. Thank you. Hey, you guys. There's free cherries over here. From Are now they listening? on, everyone's gonna say. You're you guys gonna come cherry. over for a free cherry? <laughs> I don't like cherries. She does. Oh, you want a cherry? Of course, she wants a cherry. There you go. Right on. You can take Thank two. You. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm trying to take your job. I know. What? <laughs> Here, give me that. <laughs> you done a great job. Thank you for Thank talking you. with us. No this is no it was wonderful. Fun. Yeah. So okay, much. have it. Look at get those cherries out there. You guys have a good one. Cheers. Some cool metal plate stuff. I, I I had to stop these guys and say, hey, you know, talk about this. And this is Sandy. And Sandy, is this is this your work? It's our work, both it's of our ours. Work? Okay, yes, it right. is. Right. And explain the process. Is this cut, burned, both? I mean, what? It's plasma cut. 
Uh-huh. He knows more about it than I do. <laughs> you can talk to him. Yeah, yeah. And and these are these are, are nice little metal things you can use for signs in your house. You know, put them down like, I don't know, just for decorations, right? Yeah. Yes, you can. That's cool. That's cool. So it smells really nice in here, and it's cool. And... You, and, and so first off, I, I need to ask you, do you have a website? I mean, let's get that out there. CozyValleyEvents.com. You can yeah. also find me on Instagram. We're very social there. So hashtag Cozy Valley Events or Cozy Valley. You guys have a hashtag, right? Yeah. Look at these pillows. I mean, yeah. where do you get so such pillows? Low Bohemian seating. That's typically what. Well, I wait a minute. Low Bohemian seating. That, low I, I, Bohemian. Come on. You just made that up right now. <laughs> there, there, there's no such thing. Yes, there is. There yeah. is really yeah, okay. Sure. That's what this, this is, is called. This is. Lobo. I just stepped on your foot. I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> um, it's also called floor seating or um, low low dining low seat dining. So we do yeah. a lot of that. And are you busy? I mean, are people oh, picking it up? Not busy yet, but these guys are here because they are doing crafts here. So we're selling some um, kits that you can come in and craft, or you can take one to sell. So this is what we're making here. This is what you're making right here. So what what is this exactly? I'm pass it these girls now. Oh, oh, now it's their turn. Now it's your turn to talk. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Can we check your wallet yep. to make sure you can afford any of this stuff? <laughs> Hi, it's Greg Bielik. How are you? It is Greg Bielik. Yeah, How are you doing there, Chris well, Allen? Pimping the Raptors like you are? That's right. Are you a big it's fan or did time. you get a free shirt? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you're out of your neighborhood. I mean, this is Ogden. You're you're from Davis. This is our turf. The, the, this is a good place to be, though. I know you're so welcoming now, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. How uh, how popular is this stuff and what what is the biggest seller? Um, it's pretty popular. We do a lot of Western stuff, and yeah. we do a lot of custom stuff, too, yeah. signs and stuff. Yeah, I love it. I think it's really cool, that, that steam engine right there. My dad, go, he'd go nuts over that. We made that when, they were, when the Jupiter uh -huh. train was here. Right, right. It's really fun stuff. How long does it take to make something like this, like this, this trout right there? What's that? Um, well, it don't take long to cut it out, but then we strip it and burn it. Yeah. And then powder coat it clear. Okay. I got it. I got it. What are we eating here? Hey, look at this, man. We got people. We got, we got, what is, what is this stuff you're giving away? Lemon spinach. Lemon spinach? No way. Really? Oh, yeah, try it. Uh, really? Oh, is it, does it taste like lemons yeah. or more like yeah. spinach? Now, wait a minute. I've been tricked into eating spinach before. That's okay. Really I want to make sure. That's good. It takes a second. I like that. Oh, you know what? That is good. That is good. Okay. So this is your craft kit today. What, what do you call it? Um, so these are plant hangers that we're making. They're just copper plant hangers. We're using air plants. Um, but our company is called Creating Social. Yeah. So we do events at local restaurants, um, cafes, and people come together and they just create things and socialize and kind of get away from your, you know, everyday hustle. So okay. you can kind of have some mental space okay. for yourself. Yeah. I think you guys are making this stuff up. <laughs> you, I mean, you're talking about, you're talking about low bohemian seating, glamping, air plants, all of this stuff I have never heard of. And I'm an educated, I went to college. I went to college and I have never heard of any of this stuff. It requires a college education. <laughs> so. Really? Have you bought anything? Not yet. Not yet. I saw yeah. you eyeing those, what are they, beans? Or cucumbers or something, yeah. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm kind of doing the Sam's Club thing and see if I can get full before I even go home, you know? Well, these guys have antler chews for dogs, so help yourself. <laughs> That's good. I can okay. gnaw on that for a while. <laughs> exactly. yeah. and, and, and they sell them by size, okay? So you want to make sure you get your proper size. So that big one looks pretty good. Yeah. I had my eye on that, Chris. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and you told me you have a Facebook page. What's that called? Okay. It's Western Skies Metalworks yeah. at gmail.com. Right here, just like the sign says. Wow, who made that sign? My husband did. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you know, you should, if you're, if you're that good, you shouldn't be having somebody else make your sign, right? That's right. Yeah, <laughs> that's, we, right. that's what we do is make signs. Well, we're happy to have you here at Farmer's Market. And this is cool stuff. People are starting to look, so I got to get out of the way. Great. Thank you. I hope we do well. All right. Thanks. See you guys. Where'd you get lemon spinach? Down there somewhere. Down there somewhere. <laughs> One of the farmers. So you guys have got to explain. You got the same shirt on here. Are you uh, twin brothers or? <laughs> yeah, we are twin brothers. <laughs> Call it that, yes. Brothers from another mother. <laughs> Absolutely. No, what have you been doing? Come on, tell We've me. We've been running this morning. It's, uh -huh. our, it's our annual, or not annual, our, our weekly, weekly Saturday run. Really? We go for a run, and then we come to the we'll farmer's to market the farm every Saturday. Oh, cool. Over. Yeah. Cool. So where do you run? Is it a new place every week, or we is run, it just... We run the Ogden River Parkway. Mm -hmm. uh, we start usually at the... Um, 
uh, Slackwater, run out to Riverdale, and then turn around and, and come back. That's a run. And I ride my bike. I do that. I've, I've seen you well. I've seen you on there. That's right. Yeah, yeah we've seen you a few times. Do you sell the little kits? How much are the kits? So we're doing these little workshops. It's $15 for each kit, uh -huh. um, but they just vary depending on the craft. We've done this event right here. We did an event where you can make that hanger. We did this, um, this planter. The plant ones are probably our most popular ones, anything with plants. So That is really cool. That's like a, a, a plant growing out of a ball of yarn or something. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a kokodama. So Wait it's, a minute, a kokodama. See, they're I making this up. They are, up. These things do not exist, folks. Go, look them up. They do not exist. <laughs> I mean, you know, I ask them to be on TV, then I insult them. You know, that's always a good host thing. This okay. is now, say it again, the, the term. Kokedama. Okay. Right. And what is it, so is that like an old term or? It's actually from Japan. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. so it's just, it's just a moss ball and it just grows in this little ball and you can hang them or you can put them on a planter, but we've done events like this. People love to do things with plants. Yeah. Why do you come to Ogden's Farmer's Market? Uh, I love the vibe, man. Yeah? I love the, the music. I love the people. I love the food. It's a, good, it's a fun place. The antlers. Be. Yeah. I love the antlers. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> we just talked to a lady that can grow incredible flowers in a sack. Flowers in a sack. Flowers in a sack, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll have to check that out, too. Yeah, you got to get down there. They call it a flower sack. How many people are in the Utah Running Club? Um, two. <laughs> well, no, there's uh, a few people. Well, at least it was easy to get the shirts, wasn't it? <laughs> right. We got a group discount by buying two. So. Yeah, <laughs> I, I wouldn't doubt that at all. Yeah. So how? No, come on. How many people? I, you know, I'm not sure. It's it's a pretty good group. It's run out of um, local running shop here in Ogden, and that, and we're just barely kind of getting to know them a little bit. So. Clark's, Clark's the expert on it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I actually think this is cool. I'm making fun of it, but I think this is cool. I think the whole thing is cool. Yeah, okay, you're not you. offended? Okay, I'll keep going. Here we go on, the, on that kind of thing. So Kokinama, right? Mm -hmm. And air plant, low bohemium seating. Bell tent. Bell tent, mm -hmm. tent for glamping. Uh, what do you call this rug? A space rug. <laughs> oh, it's a space rug. Uh-huh, right. That was made up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I think, you know what, if I go into space, that is the rug I will take, I can guarantee you. <laughs> well, I sure appreciate you guys talking today. Why did you choose Farmer's Market? Come on over. You, you, you know what, we can interview two people at once. We have the technology. You know, we're, we're there. Why, why did you come to Farmer's Market? So I think this is a great place to kind of market this because you are not alone. You are, yes. most people have never heard of any of these things that we do. Right. Nobody's heard of these bell tents. It's a very rare thing to find here even in the U.S. And so I thought this would be a great place to start for people to just kind of get a look for it because you can see it on a picture, but it doesn't do it justice. You never know what you're going to find at the Ogden Farmer's Market, Craig. I know. There's something licking my leg and, and I would accuse you but I'm talking to you <laughs> I know it's not you it can't be you Chris Dallin always good to see you good to see you take too, care go buy a lot of stuff okay Thanks. absolutely all right we're gonna watch him too we're gonna follow him and see what he buys <laughs> so why do you like come to farmers market good we, stuff, good good stuff. local farmers we love to support the local economy here and we always come get our bread and veggies and stuff. It's and lemon and lemon spinach. I'm, I'm going to go spinach. get lemon spinach You know what? Right that now. is actually really good. Like, I would eat a lot of spinach if I'm it tasted go, like I, it. How did you know about that? Just Rochelle saw it and said, what's this? What do you mean, how do you know about it? Everybody knows about lemon spinach. Where you been, Matt? You been living in a cave for the last 12 years? Pretty much, yeah. Come on, look at that guy right there on his couch watching. He knows about lemon spinach. Yeah, absolutely. It's good stuff. On that no. kind of stuff. Well, I don't want to interrupt you too much because I know you got lots to do here at Farmer's Market. Enjoy yourselves. Um, I'm glad that you guys come here after you run. Absolutely. It actually would be a little better if you'd come here before you ran, to be honest <laughs> well, with you. But, would it a lot more, <laughs> no, but, sure. but, we but the it's calories. been nice to interview you anyway, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <exactly. laughs> I'll see you later. Thanks, Craig. Right. Yeah. Right. Thanks, guys. We've done events before, but it's hard to find really cool outdoor space for crafts um, that have like food accessible and things like that. So we thought a market is a perfect place because people are here for food, and they can also come just drop in and make a craft. I think you're right. I think you're right. And you know what? Can I sit down on this? I, I call it a couch. You guys probably call it a flickishnad gundisbard or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> it, oh, it doesn't have a name? This is, hey, it's Craig Bielek with Crowd Surfing. This is the flickishnad gundisbard I happen to be sitting on next to my glamping can with the low bohemium seating, the air plant, the kokibon? 
Kokidama and a whole bunch of other stuff. And you guys should be at Farmer's Market because this is really fun. And you can meet these nice people who I just teased relentlessly. But, you know, don't hold that against me. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you next time on Crowd Surfing.